going to Pensacola, but then Dallas. Weather is terrible after Pensacola. By the time we get to Pensacola, it may actually be awful right there too. So I may have to actually spend the night in Pensacola and, and proceed to Dallas in the morning. So stay tuned, huh? Good prop. Mission Foxtrot, time 16472, the wind 170 at Niner, visibility 10 miles, sky scattered 2700, temperature 27, 2.20, altimeter 3010. Runway 23 is in use, she's caution, birds on the sensitivity of the airport. It finds initial contact, she have received this mission Foxtrot. I have my boost oxygen. So the oxygen pumps in case I need it in case I feel like I need it it just taxi to almost a taxiway on the whole line over there so we're ready to taxi because I am ready to taxi as a matter of fact yeah. November 712 Romeo Alpha to pick up I far to Pensacola there's 712 Romeo Alpha clear it's request and ground uh, 0712 Romeo Alpha is ready to taxi with Fox right I'm just going to depart VFR there's 712 Romeo Alpha where you parked verify some it is information Yep, it is information Fox at uh, North Hangars to Romeo Alpha. No, to Romeo Alpha, runway 23, taxi via Papa. 23 via Papa to Romeo Alpha. And there's one to Romeo Alpha, are you ready to copy your clearance? Yes, yes ma'am, uh, ready to copy to Romeo Alpha. No, to Romeo Alpha, you're clear to Papa November Sierra Airport via as filed after departure, maintain 2000. Expect 8,010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.2. Squawk 6055. Okay, 071 Romeo Alpha is clear to uh, the Pensacola Airport via S filed after the departure. Climb 2000, ex expect 8000 after 10 minutes. Departure frequency 125.2, 6055 in the box. No, 2 Romeo Alpha, you're back as correct. Are you going to be ready upon reaching or do you need to run up? I'll need to run up to Romeo Alpha. No, 2 Romeo Alpha, advise on this frequency when you're ready for departure. I'll advise with you when ready for departure to Romeo Alpha. I mean, just you probably wonder why I didn't just sit down and write this down. You. First of all, I'm taxiing, but I know what to expect. Minutes. Do you want that? Right? I know what kind of uh, uh, clearance to expect, so it was pretty easy for me to write it, to think about it and remember it. Uh, and then if I can yeah, remember so it, I could just always ask. Go ahead and get you know, taxiing. Runway 23, taxi via Papa 5, Papa. All right. All right, I'm ready to go. You guys ready? All right. Bogot Tower, November 712, Romeo Alpha, holding short runway 23, ready for departure. With November 712, Romeo Alpha, turn right, heading 350, runway 23, clear for takeoff. Right, heading 350, runway 23, clear for takeoff, 712, Romeo Alpha. Alright. Picture full. Uh, it's clear. Other side is clear. Reconditioning off, and let's get out of here. Full power. Airspace alive, looking good. Uh, looking for 70 knots, and here we go. And Boca Tower, experimental 208, Tango Victor, number one and two, three, uh, around the pattern. Half left side. 101. Here's to Romeo Alpha, contact Palm Beach Departure Salon. Over to Departure Salon, to Romeo Alpha. Palm Beach Departure, good afternoon, series November 7, 1, 2, Romeo Alpha, with you through 1.4 for 2,350 heading. Then 1, 2, Romeo Alpha, Palm Beach Departure, ready to contact, climb on pain 6,000. Climb 6,000, to Romeo Alpha. And 0, 2, Romeo Alpha, climb on pain 8,000. I maintain 8,000 to Romeo Alpha. All right, leveling 8,000. Let's throttle back a tiny bit. 2600 RPM. And then let's do our lean assist. All right, best power. Burning 18.5 gallons an hour. And uh, we got another four hours of fuel to go. Good temperatures. We'll be laying with 27 gallons. Let's go through our checklist. Checklist fuel pump is off. Cruise power set, mixture, 
This is going to get really interesting as we're closing into Tallahassee area and then uh, after that, Pensacola. Uh, definitely going to be a very interesting situation. We'll see how that's going to go. And also, whether I'm going to be able to proceed to Dallas after that. All right, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I want to give you a little update here on what's going on. We're at 8,000 feet, uh, just past Lakeland intersection. And uh, then we're going to be going to Nitz intersection in uh, Heaven. All right, so let me just give you an idea of, of what we're doing here. Um, we have another hour, 44 minutes to go. We're laying with 30 gallons, but you see the circle here is 150 nautical miles. Right before Haven, Heaven, that intersection, we're going to start hitting this cold front. And, and behind that cold front, don't think that it's clear. <laughs> it's very messy. Let me zoom out a little bit. And you'll see what I'm, well, I can't really see it here. But you can, you can tell what's going on, right? This is very messy. In less than uh, an hour, in about 45 minutes, I will be getting there. And I know that because by looking at my FMS Sorry, can here, that? We're gonna do, uh, can we get vectors to the ILS? I'm going to be reaching uh, heaven uh, one at uh, 223. Okay. And right now it's 137. So about 45 minutes. 223. Right, you see that right there? 223. So before that, about a few minutes prior to that, I want to be dealing with this weather. So now you see that line? Those red spots right there? I don't want to be there. So I'm going to request to go through that opening, if that opening is still there, but it, it will shift towards the northeast. So, Yankee, when you go to Cross City, um, you're going to have uh, 8 or 10,000, which you prefer. And then we'll see how we're going to deal with that. Um, so I'll be looking Yankee, at the storm scope here. This is a lightning finder. And uh, so far it's clear, within 200 nautical miles, which covers this area. So this is not very convective, however, that extreme precipitation, those red spots, I definitely don't want to be anywhere near there. I have my work cut out for me, that's for sure. Uh, by the way, I want to show you a little how this works. It's very cool. Basically, you just put your mouth just under your nose. And pull the, the little trigger. Hold it for about a second and take a deep breath. Hold it a little bit. Three, one, zero, one, turn, that immediately left, feels good. One, zero, immediately. Ten degrees left, it's down, like it gives you a little boost of something, you know? And I don't think it's just my imagination. I really feel a reduction in my headache a tiny bit, and it's almost instant. So it's very cool. It's a great product. It's kind of pricey, 15 bucks. It says that you have 200 one second shots. Hangover reliever. Uh, if you're a pilot and you have a hangover, you should be flying anyway. <laughs> so I requested uh, to go to the right, of course. So let's go 15 degrees. Let me show you why. The reason for that is because I don't want to be there. This was updated four minutes ago, but this could be as late, as, as old as about 15 to 20 minutes old, right? So I'm, I'm guessing by going as close to there, by the time this updates, I'm going to be mostly in the green area. Okay, so that's the strategy. Uh, we'll see if that works. Um, you can see how it's deteriorating up ahead, right? Hopefully, I'll be able to see it and stay clear of all that. Stay tuned, guys. There we go. Temperature's dropping, 8 degrees Celsius. I don't know if you can see this. No. So I'm uh, right now 20 degrees to the right, of course. This looks good. Again, I'm betting that this is... But I can see clearly ahead of me, right? So I can see where that yellow and red is. It's right there. Okay. Over there. So I'm hoping that by the time I get there in just a few minutes, this is very close, by the way. 
only 20 miles away. I will be there in no time flat. In, in five minutes. So hopefully it's no big deal. I'm looking for that heavier precipitation over there and over there. Yeah, I think I see the downpours. Temperature, outside temperature is 10 degrees. We're okay with that. No lightning strikes anywhere. Lighten the suit belt though. I don't want any surprises. And we're officially in the soup. We're in the, uh, inside an icing air mat right here, but the temperature is 8 degrees Celsius. We're definitely in uh, visible moisture, but 8 degrees Celsius, no icing. Ah, clears up again. This is the cold front. This is it. That's what it looks like from the air. Inside the cold front. That's the actual frontal. Frontal boundary. There's a little bit of precipitation here. Getting a little bit wet. If you don't have X, uh, XM uh, weather, XM radar, and uh, some kind of lightning strikes, this is where you can get in trouble, where you cannot see and get into embedded thunderstorms. That's very problematic. So hopefully his ATC is there to help you out. But they also see a similar picture, probably a little bit more, more current of a picture. I, I hope so. They told me tell you so. Let's slow down. It's Thank getting really bumpy here. Nothing. Seven one two Romeo Alpha. Tell us your approach knows you're deviating. Just let them know when you're able to make the turn back on course and contact the approach now. One three five point eight. Good day, sir. Thirty five point eight, and we'll let them know. To Romeo Alpha, thanks. Tallahassee approach. Uh, series November seven one two Romeo Alpha. Checking in uh, level eight thousand uh, IMC. I want to run me out to the south road to tell us the altimeter is 3009. 09er. All right, I think that that's it. We're in the clear. Let's verify that we're in the clear. Let's see the line, what kind of line it's going to draw. Now yeah. The information that was now we're going to be going through some precipitation here. But it's okay. Tell us approach, shooters November 7 1 to me off. I can turn that destination now. Romeo Alpha, Roger, clear direct Pensacola. Direct Pensacola, to Romeo Alpha. All right, restoring power. All right, well, that was that. Now we're dealing with a direct headwind. So I'll be landing with 24 gallons of uh, fuel remaining, which is still pretty good. Roughly about an hour and a half of flight time. But, you know, that's why you gotta have your full tanks, right? Because uh, you never know what to expect. Now we're 13 to Pensacola. All right, a little more precipitation here. And uh, I think I'm gonna slow down a tiny bit. We're about to get in it. About 50% will do it, 49%, 50% power. Will give me about 133, 132 knots, which is within the uh, V <coughs> maneuvering speed, the VA speed. Which means that uh, no matter what kind of force the wing accepts, it's not going to break, it will stall first, right? The wing will stall instead of breaking. So it's uh, basically the structural maneuvering speed. So even if there's a severe or extreme uh, turbulence, my wings are not going to you know, break apart. They will just stall, but you know, they'll still be intact. There's a turbulence. I'm in the yellow right now. Or possibly not, maybe that was it. It has moved already, you know? Because again, this could be 10, 15 minutes old, the screen that I see over here on my screen. Yeah, it's clear. All right, let's go. Heading 180, 0726. At 29.9 mindful pressure, 2600 RPM, 74% power, 18.5 gallons per hour. That's exactly, I'm not, I don't need to <coughs> really lean or anything like that, I've already done that. But I need to change tanks. Look how beautiful it is, guys. Right? So, it's gorgeous. So, 50 minutes ago, we have a pretty good uh, headwind, about 34 knots. 
So that's slowing us down quite a bit. So I still have another 50 minutes to go, another 122 nautical miles to go. Um, and right now it's pretty good out here, smooth air. It, I see some clouds up ahead. It's probably going to get a little worse up ahead, but not, not too bad. And I'm trying to see by looking at the radar screen right here, what's the situation going to be afterwards to go to Dallas? I don't see much precipitation. I see a pretty big gap right here, which is probably about 150 nautical miles wide with no precipitation uh, northwest of Pensacola. Um, I think I'm going to take that. So, why not? Yeah, it's going to be a little later getting in, probably about a quarter to seven tonight, so it's going to be a night flight for the last uh, hour plus. Uh, about 19 minutes to go. Watching my left fuel tank. It's a little on the low side, but that's so inaccurate. You never really know. I burned 51 gallons of fuel so far. They're going to hand me over to Pensacola in a second. And I do have information. Tango, if I remember well. Pickling now approach uh, 712 Romeo. I want to start descending, I want to tell them. Pickling uh, 2 Romeo Alpha. Romeo 2 Romeo Alpha, I can approach. Yeah, I'd like to begin my initial descent to Pensacola at this point at this time. Romeo 2 Romeo Alpha, descend to maintain 6000. So maintain 6000 to Romeo Alpha. Alright. Altimeter, cabin heat, good landing light. Let's turn it on. Fuel systems check. Mixture as required and brake pressure. Let's check that. All right, going to the next checklist. Two remaining, we're good. Number two, Romeo Alpha, con contact Pensacola approach 119.0. Over to approach 119.0. Thanks for your help, Romeo Alpha. Zero ten thousand. Uh, Pensacola approach zero uh, seven one, Romeo Alpha, leveling at uh, six thousand with information Tango. Seven one two, Romeo Alpha, Pensacola approach altimeter three zero one two. Three zero one two, Romeo Alpha, Pensacola approach altimeter three zero one two. One two. Two Romeo Alpha, find the RNAV runway three five approach. I will fly the RNAV uh, runway 35 approach to Romeo Alpha. And uh, to Romeo Alpha, I need a vector too for the GPS. To Romeo Alpha, flying 260, descend anything 4000. 260, 4000 to Romeo Alpha. We do a quick briefing on it. Okay, GPS 3, uh, runway 35 approach. To Romeo Alpha, get free to follow. Uh, uh, didn't copy that. Please repeat, to Romeo Alpha. You see, descend anything 1700. 1700 to Romeo Alpha. All right, broke out at 4,500. I got the field inside right there. I think that's it. Approach uh, to Romeo Alpha, field inside. Romeo Alpha, I'm sorry, you had the airport in sight? Uh, affirmative, sir, to Romeo Alpha. This is to Romeo Alpha, clear visual approach, runway 35. Clear for the visual, runway 35, to Romeo Alpha. 316, there will be IFR aircraft on the 7 left final at 1. To Romeo Alpha, thanks for the help. Contact Tower 119.9er. Over to Tower, thanks for your help, to Romeo Alpha. 35 to Pensacola Tower, good evening, Sirius November 71 to Romeo Alpha on the visual runway 35. Sirius November 71 to Romeo Alpha, Pensacola Tower, runway 35, wind 040 at 17 gust 21, clear to land. Runway 35, clear to land, Sirius 71 to Romeo Alpha. I still have a visual of the field. Yeah, the beach here is beautiful. White sand. Or a little low, so let's stay on this altitude. Pretty nasty crosswind here.
500. All right, full flaps. Confirm, confirmed. Oh, there's a little bit of wind shear right there. Tower Hawk 289, train for takeoff. Hawk 289, Pensacola Tower, hold short, runway 35 at Charlie 2 for arriving traffic. 289, hold short. That oh, was pretty good crosswind right there. Romeo Alpha, turn right, it's actually Delta, contact ground went off, and if you could uh, pass along flight conditions. Yep, uh, right on Delta, and we'll uh, let them know we're gone, Romeo Alpha. Pensacola ground, uh, to Romeo Alpha, Delta. 0712, Romeo Alpha, Pensacola ground, you're pregnant, Pensacola Aviation, and free. Yeah, going to uh, pack. Traffic. Romeo Alpha. Traffic. Okay, number two, Romeo Alpha. Roger. Thanks for it. Via Delta Charlie. Delta Charlie to pack, and uh, you do have wind shear at 450 feet AGL minus uh, five, plus minus five. Okay, number two, Romeo Alpha. Roger. Thank you for that. All right. Exactly three hours and four minutes later. All right, guys. Well, that was a interesting flight. Uh, so stay tuned for the next flight, which is going to be to Dallas, which I will make it because the weather is better than I thought it was going to be, so. All righty. staying over here, but there's no point in doing that. Might as well continue. Added 57 gallons of fuel. Full fuel, basically. We're good. And let's get our clearance. Central National Airport, for ADIS information, uniform, 2053 Zulu, wind 030 at 13, gust 24, visibility 10, ceiling 5000 overcast, temperature 8, dew point 4, altimeter 3011. Pencil clock clearance, uh, series November 712, Romeo Alpha, looking to pick up my eye, far clearance to Addison, uh, Texas. Series 712, Romeo Alpha, Pencil clearance, cleared to Addison Airport as filed, maintain 1700. Expect 6,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.0, squawk 1015. Series November 712, Romeo Alpha is clear to the Addison Airport via IS file. Climb 1,700 feet, uh, then 6,000 after one zero minutes. Departure frequency 119.0, squawk 1015. Series 2, Romeo Alpha, read correct? Pensacola Ground, Sears November 712, Romeo Alpha is ready to taxi with information uniform. I'm at Pensacola Aviation Center. Sears 712, Romeo Alpha, Pensacola Ground. Romeo at 35 at a Charlie 2, intersection departure, taxi via Charlie 2. 
All right, runway 35 via Charlie 2 intersection and taxi via Charlie 2, series 713 Alpha. Break, break, working. All right, let's go to our checklist. Um, before takeoff checklist, last walk of 50%. That's very cool. Nice. Pensacola Tower, series November 7 1 threw me off at uh, Charlie 2 intersection, runway 35, ready for departure. No, November 7 1 2, runway off of Pensacola Tower, runway 35 at Charlie 2. Um, turn, uh, correction, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. Aircraft has this weather information, Airmet Sierra Tango and Zulu for the southeast uh, and coastal waters available on Howitzer Flight Service. November 2, Romeo Alpha, turn left heading 320, contact departure. 320, number departure, turn Alpha. Departure, good evening, series November 7, 1, 2, Romeo Alpha with you, 900 for 1700. I was on the line doing coordination, who was that? 7, 1, 2, Romeo Alpha with you. 2, Romeo Alpha, principal departure, radar contact line, maintain 6000. 6000, to Romeo Alpha. November 2, Romeo Alpha, state on course heading to Jan Lo. Uh, on course heading to Jan Lo would be 303. Number two, Romeo Alpha, proceed on course. On course, turn up. Number two, Romeo Alpha, I'm in doubt to maintain 5,000. 5,000 for now, turn up. Hey guys, two and a half hours left for the flight. Number 712, Romeo Alpha, contact Memphis Center, 125.9 or 7, good day. 25.9 or 7, good day, turn up. Memphis Center, good evening, series November 712, Romeo Alpha, uh, with you, level 6,000. Number 712, Romeo Alpha, Memphis Center, Roger. Pop belt out, Timothy 3026. So we do have some icy concerns, it's one degree. And I'm gonna start doing a normal flow of ice, anti-TKS. Although I don't see anything sticky. It's one to two degrees outside. Was there for a free report back? An eye out on it. Look for my leading edges or any visible ice. I'm about to go through some precipitation here. So the windshield, that's like have nozzles for the, uh, that spray the TKS on it. But what, what's going on is that the prop, every blade has a nozzle that sprays TKS on the prop. So because of the airflow, all that is actually blowing back onto the windshield, which is also takes, takes care of the windshield as well, which works. So temperature is five degrees here, so I'm gonna turn this off again. I don't need it. I'm gonna turn off the pitot heat for now and turn it back on a little later. If needed. It's getting dark. So just under two hours to go. I'm going direct to uh, Edison right now. And uh, uh, it's bumpy for the past several minutes and the temperature got to down to one degree Celsius so I'm running my pitot heat and uh, my TKS again. If any ice then have, you know then I'm gonna descend obviously. Not like 5,000 to get warmer air. Oh look at that the wind is turning into a little tailwind. 
I love it. So now we're gonna get there a little quicker. An hour fifty left. That's very welcome. And it looks like it got a little bit smoother over here. I like that too. All right, zero degrees Celsius. No signs of ice. Memphis Center, uh, 0712 Romeo Alpha, do you copy? Memphis Center, Center, uh, 0, November 712 Romeo Alpha, do you copy? Memphis Center, 0712 Romeo Alpha, do you copy? Memphis 7712 Alpha, Memphis Center. It's uh, 712 Romeo Alpha, do you copy? Memphis 72 Romeo Alpha, Memphis Center, go ahead. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like I can pick up anybody anymore at 125.9 uh, or 75, so I'm trying with you. I don't know if I should go back to that frequency, but it doesn't seem that I can pick up anybody in, but anymore. Number 712 Romeo Alpha. Oh, I, I thought you was already on 132.5. Uh, if you called that out uh, earlier, uh, I didn't hear it. It's Romeo Alpha. That's you, Romeo Alpha. Roger Monroe. Altimeters uh, 3031. I have you loud and clear. All right, good. 3021. Romeo Alpha, thanks. I, I, I couldn't hear these guys, right, anymore. And every transmission that they were sending, it was garbled, and then they just went dead. I'm like, were they trying to call me, or were they trying to tell me something? Because I couldn't really tell anymore, not even a hint. So, I'm like, the good thing about this uh, here is that it gives me all my frequencies, right? So I know exactly my, what my en route frequencies are supposed to be. And, uh, and you know I can uh, look it up and go there. So and that's what I did. So all right, uh, temperature is fluctuating between zero and one Celsius, so it's right there, right on the cusp of freezing. Seven seven three is clear direct to Toulouse Airport. I'm just gonna save my TKS a little bit. I don't want to run it too much because I, I want to conserve it as much as possible. Uh, not because I'm cheap, it's just because I don't want to run out. <laughs> there are two Romeo Alpha contact. No purge, 119.9er, good day. 119er, point niner, two Romeo Alpha, thanks. Uh, approach, uh, good evening, series November 7, 1 to Romeo Alpha, with you 6000. November 7, 1, 2 Romeo, super approach, super altimeter 3030. 3030. Who said you cannot have fun in the cockpit? Yeah! Woohoo! That was awesome. What a song. I love that song. Those were the song too. Oh yeah. So that song was for Zoe. Alright, Zozo. Alright, over uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Heading towards Texas. Texas coming up. A little bit. And, uh, got another 55 minutes to go. Fort Worth, uh, Center 2 Romeo Alpha. 2 Romeo Alpha, good. That's a uh, any possibility to go direct destination. I have it for you here in, uh, about 3 or 4 minutes. Alright, great. Why not ask, right? Because this, they, they, they've given me the, uh, the Sassy 5 arrival, which added an extra 15 minutes to my flight. Because it takes me up north. Alright, passing uh, 11 for uh, 230. To Bonham, 30, and then Sassy, then down. Right, I could go this way, be there in exactly 30 minutes or less. The Apple Watch has a flashlight feature, including a red light. Is that cool? The red thank light. Thank you, Romeo. Have a good airport. Direct Addison, thank you, Romeo. Alright, awesome. Direct Addison. Boom, boom, boom. Turn. 
28 minutes. Beautiful. Much better. All right, we are descending down uh, to 4,000. For 5,500 feet. And descending. The front line when I let me light on. in Dallas. All right guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next flight to Chicago.